Uh, good afternoon, once again, the Chairman, Kuma Right Defenders and Access to Justice Advocate Center and every department, co comments and reviewers. Uh, our team is a solution alike from the KGR and the NAW branch. Uh, we are revisiting the case of uh, Victoria Joseph Umara, who complained against one Mr. Azuko Felix Oko that uh, she was impregnated by the young man, and the man and his mom uh, persuaded her to abort the baby uh, of four months, which she objected, and she was scared not to die. And for that cause, she was chased out of the house. And yesterday, this case uh, was attended to, we listened to her complaint, and normally for a peaceful uh, resolution, we usually um, uh, also ensure we hear from both parties. So Paul was put across to the defendant yesterday to equally appear here for a fair hearing. Let's hear from both sides and know how this matter can properly be addressed. Uh, thank you for being with us. Please uh, follow us on our Facebook page of Human Rights Defender Masters to Justice Advocate Center for more useful information. You can visit our website on www.hldac.org.ng. We are all equally connected to our whole approach. Thank you. Okay, Victoria. All right, please, you, you will speak up. We know there is no light near the, the noise of the gen and all that. You will still tell us. You will still tell us exactly your complaint, so that uh, Mr. Joseph can listen. The summary of what you said yesterday, without omitting any words, say exactly your allegation against him and the more, so that he will know how to respond to that. And please be audible, okay? Or oh, you need water? You are fine. Okay, speak up, please. Thank you. My name is Victoria Joseph. I came to Lagos 2018 um, to look for work in order to complete my education. So I have, when I came to Lagos, I've been doing um, house girl work because I didn't have any way to stay in Lagos. So along the line, the work was getting stressful for me. It was affecting me in my chest because I have chest pain normally, so it was making it um, obvious for me, it was more um, difficult for me. So, um, 2019, I met a woman who is from my village. So, the woman um, said I should come and stay with her, came from her house, I can be going to work. Um, um, in the morning, I'll go to work, then in the evening, I'll come back to the house. So, I, I, I thought that that was um, okay for me. So, I've been staying with that woman for the past. One and, one and a half years, I didn't have any problem, I didn't have any issues with them. But this man, um, um, the husband of the woman, knows the family of this as so far in the world. I'm not hearing you. Okay. So the family of the man that was staying with knows the family of um, Mr. Asupo and the mom. So one day, uh, the husband said he's going to a house furnishing. I should come along with him with the children. So I went. So after the fellowship, in the morning, Asipa approached me and told me that he wants to marry me in the presence of his mom and his sisters. So his sister said, I should understand that he's not ready, that when he's ready, that uh, them and their sisters that they do not. So I said, okay, oh, fine, that there's no problem. But the mom now called me outside and said that, I should that the son cannot just approach me and say he wants to marry me if he's not serious about it and if he doesn't love me, he won't say so that he knows his son. So I said, okay, so the woman paid me. The woman said that the only thing that I have to do, I have to get the work that I'll be doing and him that he has and work will put case together so that he can rent an apartment that will be staying and we can start up our own future so that with that. I can still be going to school because I told the woman that my aim of coming to Lagos is to gather money and go to school. I'll start a little business, then from the business, I can get money that I'll be going to school because I don't have anyone supporting me. So the mom said that even though I'm, 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 um, I'm dating a super or um, he marries me, that 
I can still go to school. That that doesn't stop me from going to school. So I said, okay. So I start. I I went to. I started the housework again. So I can gather money. I can be eating there. Then I can be saving money. So I did the housework for four months. Coming back. How much were they paying you? They were paying me twenty thousand. Were you saving? Yes, I was saving. So they were paying me twenty thousand. When I came back from the work, I support didn't save any five naira. Instead, uh, he was borrowing from the money that I got from the work that I was doing. He said he would give it to me. He did not give it to me. So, and also, the mom said um, I should be like, um, if I have money, I should be buying things for the sisters so, um, so that anytime we have issues, they can come in and say to us so that. That any woman that wants to marry, he must actually marry the family. So that's how the whole money squandered, and um, I, um, I returned to their house. And after I worked there for four months, I came back because him and Suko were saying that I should come back, that there's no one cooking for him, that he needs someone to cook for him. And, and the whole, but that's so I came back home. So when I came back, I started seeing their character. I got, I, I noticed that the mom, all the sisters, the um, grandchildren, and the brother, they were living in one room apartment that is like a kitchen. So when I saw that I was discouraged, I told the mom that this is not the kind of um, husband that I want. So the, um, the mom was um, like, uh, that it's not all the glitters that I go, that I can start off in this small kitchen and in future it will be big. So the way the, the, the woman spoke to me then, because when I have money, she used to be Where is your mom? So because then that I was working, the mom used to um, um treat me like I felt like okay, this is a mother. So when I stopped that work, and when I stopped that work, I felt sick because of the song. Because any um this what I'm doing, I can't uh, if I'm pregnant, they won't let me do this house of it. Because before you do this house of they will test you to know if you are pregnant or if you have um, any diseases or so. So when the son um, was um, with me, so he, he, um, he said I should take one um, and, and something, is it um, salt and water, something like that. I want to say that now. Something. Whatever you want to say, this office will be entertained lies. Yes. So, I took um, I took one um, medicine. So when I took the medicine, that it affected me in my room, in my right side of my stomach. It was really paining me. So when I got what kind of medicine? It was a um, alabuku with pot. So I alabuku with pot. Yes, like who gave it to you? It for her. Is him that said that I should take it because I told him that this drug that we're going. That if I'm pregnant, they will send me because before you go there, you must they must test you if you have any sickness or infection or pregnancy. So I told him that so he said, okay, I should um, take um, something in order to maybe to uh, flush as if maybe any pregnancy wants to come out to flush. And so I took that and it affected. Is it not going? It's going. It's and it affected me. So when I came back from the work, I was getting sick. So I told the mom that, um, she said, see what happened to me. I explained everything to her. I told her the whole thing. So the mom said I should bring 20,000 naira for her to give to one of her friends. And she started to give me all this about medicine. Because she said, with this, I can't get pregnant. So I now told her she thought that, what should I do? Because every month, my stomach is, my right side of my stomach will swell up. So we went to chemist. I forced it because it was so it made me to uh, to be scared because I didn't actually know what to do with me. So he took me to a, a a pharmacy. Even though they want to follow me to the pharmacy, I'll take you there. No, doctor, right here. Hold on. Hello, man. Hello. I got some. Uh, uh, the human right. They want to see you for Alec. So come now. They know it's they oh, no 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 they is very very important they 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 come out no they come out put put in anything I go to say them they they 
Di kang di kang a. They had to comply with this. They don't comply for us to resolve this matter. We want. Di kang a ya e se tu komi. Di kang a di kang de anything. I told that you got to take me to pay with that. I'm not feeling myself. And with that small that I'm afraid, I'm not feeling that day. So he took me to a chemist. When he took me to that chemist, the man he, is, a, is a doctor, a retired doctor. So he has his own chemist. So that man brought out the paper. He wrote everything. He tested me. He wrote um, what is wrong with me. The man said he should take me for a diagnosis in one hospital. He mentioned the name of the hospital. I, I super never did. I suffer, I suffer with this pain and everything. And all the mom could um, say, he was watching me anytime I'm menstruating, she would tell me that I'm menstruated again. I cannot take him. That um, um, I should go. He started hating me. He started uh, anytime I eat, she would say, I'm just that for your the mother. The mother who start saying that I'm eating too much, like character started coming out. So anything I do, they will take it like an excuse. Sometimes if I have issue with the song, he will put he will put the phone on recorder in order to use it against me. So this thing went on to one day I there was a leaf that they showed me in a dream. So they said I should put the uh, salt in that loop and then drink it. So I drank that leaf. So it started pinching me in that side of the stomach that swelled up. So I pushed everything out. That was when I took it. For this as well because before I took him, him as well, he used to tell me that since he has uh, met me that I've never missed my period for him that you don't think him I'm normal. So I told him that you are not married to me. We are only like kind of uh, uh, starting a relationship like friends that you are not married to me that maybe it's because you are not married to me that's why. So he told me that the mother said um, I should get pregnant at least they sign to show that I can produce. So that they should not go and waste their money paying it on my head. Then at last I will not be able to be pregnant. So finally I took in this pregnancy. So I told the mom that I'm feeling weight in my breast. I think that I'm pregnant. The mom didn't say the mom didn't say a word. It was after this pregnancy was a month plus. So her sister, her name is Blessing, said um, she should take me. She should take me to uh, where she wants to walk, close to uh, um, close to one uh, hotel, uh, shrine, shrine, uh, shrine. Uh, I don't know what they call it, but it's a clock at the back of the clock. So she said that she's roasting chicken. That she come with that thing from then I can get money. I can start up maybe if I want to sell small things so that I can get money. So that uncle will not kill me in the outside. I said, okay, fine. When I wanted to go with her sister, this Asuko told me that I shouldn't go. That the sisters and the mother, that they are planning that I should go to this room. That out of the stress, the menstruation, like the pregnancy will come down, will come, will come out. So I, th I told him that I don't believe that a mother like that can say that, can say that kind of thing. I didn't say this. I didn't, even, I didn't believe what he said. It's so when I came back from the walk. So the mom, I don't know if he was actually expecting that maybe through to the out of the street, the pregnancy will come down. So he asked me, have you seen your menstruation? I said, no, mother. I've not seen that. It's only paining me in my abdomen, but nothing has come out. So the woman was like, um, kind of angry that um, um, I should take um, coke, that is not cold, hot one, or I should take um, a cocoa, that is a hot drink, that the pregnancy will come out. So um, I was like, and but don't she wants me to, uh, to to keep the pregnancy? They want to kill me. So I now make this as super. I say, what do you have to say about this pregnancy? Do you want me to remove it or do you want me to keep it? That I I don't really care what your mom said. That, that I want to hear what you have to say. So he he didn't answer me. He didn't give me the answer. Keep it or don't keep it. He was just beating around the bush and telling me, do you want to keep it? So I'm not asking that. I'm asking you as a man. You are the one that will tell me keep it or don't keep it. Then I will know uh, my stand. You are not telling me you want to keep it. Then answer me. So from there, that it has been issues upon issues, and that very night, because I told the sister that since on Monday to this um, Saturday that I'm not going to church. I need to go to church because 
they were starting evening program that night, like a, a revival. So I told the sister that when I'm coming back, I'm going to talk. So when I so came back, that was um, after seven, I told her so far that I'm preparing to church room, that I want to go to church. So he said I'm not going to church. I told him that I have to go. That any time I said I'm going to church, he would say that I should not go. Just for me to be in the house, and any time you want to uh, touch me or sleep with me, you see that I said I'm going to church. That you can stop me for every other thing, but don't stop me from going to church. I won't listen to you. So then I started dragging with me inside. Um, I started dragging with me to the point that you would show me on the bed. I will, I will stand up. I want to go outside. So the mom was not shouting that I should come outside and stay outside with her. If I want to go outside, you block me. So you use the dog to hit me by my side. So I fell down. When I fell down, I started um, um, vomiting and white right things and water was coming out from my body. So I actually thought that um, it is the blood that is coming out. So when I came out, as I was shouting, my stomach, my stomach, somebody helped me. I super never made any move. Even the mother, they were outside, they did not make any move. I now came out. So I went and met one auntie for her to help me. So that night I went to church because anytime that we have issues like a uh, problem, the mother will beat me. Him as super too. He will join hands and beat me. And after everything, the mother will say that she will go and lie down in the same bed with the guy. I'll say no, that I'm lying down because I cannot lie down with this kind of man that is bound with. The mom will say. And like that, the husband and wife will already use that is on bed that they will say to she will tell me that. And if I refuse to lie down on that bed, it will become issues. That out and she will force me to start laying course on me. So now, at this point, it has gotten to a point why I came, it has gotten to a point that as people keep me starving when they notice that this pregnancy is still big and I've not removed it. He said um, that he didn't send me to get pregnant. That I, I always, he was saying that to people because it's people that was telling me what he's saying that he didn't um, tell me to get pregnant. That I always tell him that I want to be the mother of his children. So I am the one that forced him to get pregnant so that I, I can marry him. And that is not true because since I met this young man, when I noticed his violent character and his, and his parents with their problem, I wanted to go from the house. Once I want to take my back to Yanapaja where I was staying, so I can um, face my own life when I felt okay, this is not the right family. When I went there, the mom called the man that was staying and started spoiling me for the man that this girl is this, this girl is that. At the end, I have to go back to them because the man got upset, so I have to go back to this family. That is what they wanted. And at this point, anyone that wants to help me. Asuko will come out, start saying that I used to slap him, and I don't have respect, I used to lay pussies on him, start spoiling me. So the people will be discouraged. They will see me as, okay, this girl lied to us, and they will all kinds of me, and I will not see any help. So that what he's trying to do, so that I will still come back to him, and he want me as a sex mate. To the point that this is four months. He don't care about giving me and uh, uh, taking me to hospital to see, even when I'm sick, because the doctor said that right now I don't have much blood in my body. I can stay like this, my hand will be cold because I don't have blood. He don't care about that. Sometimes you will not give me food from morning to night. And that same night, you will still come to force me and sleep with me. And it will be fight. If you look at his body, there's a place that I bite him. Because that night, he turned my hand at the back to, um, to um, break my hand. So I, I bite him. So it has been issues of him not giving me food. They will give me 30 liters sugar and fresh water with this pregnancy of four months. That is why I said, let me come to human rights and come and lay my complaint because I don't want to leave it. I don't I don't want to have anything to do with him. I want to go back to my um, to my people, the auntie that I said I'm going back. They are just looking for a um, chance for because yesterday a woman the uh, day before yesterday that I went to MP, it was a um, hiring soldier saying that a woman kidnapped me that I'm, I'm missing. And that same Saturday, I was hungry. He gave me 300 naira and she go and uh, use and buy something and cook and eat. So I used that 300 naira and buy a camera and bread. Because he normally said that she used firewood to cook. Meanwhile, they stove. So he said you won't buy kerosene. And that very Saturday, rain fell. So when that rain fell, the firewood was wet. And I stayed on with you. Three o'clock that he came back. 
I told him that I'm not eating with that. With this pregnancy, my leg was shaking, my hand was shaking. I nearly lost my grit. I nearly collapsed. This guy came back, he bought something to eat, and I was dead, hungry. Several times, he has kept me hungry from morning till night. Oh, your mom is coming. Oh, my, she is, uh, so she is busy. Where is she? Which area is the mom staying? What does he she stay in his house. house. He stay in that house? Yes, yeah, that is living. Except your mom wants us to go there and do a, an open embarrassment with camera. Encourage her if you want to call your sister, call your sister, let her come here, let this matter be resolved and make it. Call whoever you want to call, let her come here. Go ahead. So I I I told you that I'm not easy. Because anytime you go outside, you eat and you keep me on to you say that and my my dad <laughs> that I don't have respect. I said, is it not the same character that I had when you make me? You say that you don't like it. Why didn't you let me go? Now that I'm pregnant, you're using it um, to frustrate me. So now I have to know, and now beg the mother for cocoa because the mother has a cocoa. So let me use um, the charcoal and cook and eat. The mother refused. He said, you will never. Even though I want to use pill and bug, the mother will say, I shouldn't touch her blood that I have HIV. If you get to the house now, the mother has separated her own things. And if I, uh, and if I want to use my own thing, she said I should not buy it in the market, even plate, everything is um, 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 frustrating for me. So that very um, Saturday, when I was hungry and he came back, I told him that firewood is great. He didn't answer me. He said that he didn't send me to get pregnant, that if I want to leave, I should leave, that he's tired, that he's not ready to be a father. He did not send me. So that Saturday, I left. When I left, I met an officer wife. That officer's wife went there to look for work for a house of work. So when that one noticed that I was pregnant, so the woman said she can't um, employ a, a pregnant woman to work for her because of the stress that she don't want me to collapse. So I, I, I met the man, I told the man that I know it's uh, that she should help me with food, that I feel like um, to slum or to die, she should help me. So the woman gave me food. So that very Saturday evening, the woman called her super. He said that she gave her super number to call him. To know what the problem is, the woman called this. Um, um, the woman called um, Mr. Supo here and uh, um, and asked him that Do you know is Victoria. Who is Victoria to you? He said that Victoria is a uh, uh, just a friend. Before he wanted to say that he don't know me, so the woman was that Do you know is Victoria. I said that Victoria is his friend. So the woman asked him that Am I pregnant for you? He said yes. So the woman wanted to um um. Yeah. To see if he really yeah. wants me to. The man wanted to know if I'm lying, yeah. that if I'm lying, yeah. if he wants me to keep yeah. 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 So the man started by asking him that, telling him that, okay, Victoria, I bought yeah. the pregnancy. He now said that that one is a business yeah. that she don't care if she bought the pregnancy. Yeah. So the man now told him, okay, Victoria is going back yeah. to her people. She said that that one is her own. Business is that business. So when the man now said, okay, what I want from you is for you to stay clear of this girl. That anybody that wants to help this girl should help this girl because they are not married to her. That um, um, the, the embarrassment that if you see the girl walking, you go there and lie against her and you chase her out of the place. That is what she don't want because the woman is an officer's wife. So when she now had that, so the next day she now went to MP and went and laid a complaint that uh, Victoria had been missing for a while, so there's a woman in officer's yeah, quarter that um, kept, that, that had been like, like, sleeping like, like, Victoria like, in her house, like, saying that so that I can like, still go back to that, and that's not what I want, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. That's why I came, I came here, because when I first went to uh, MP because of his problem, MP said he should be giving me 5,000 every week. He did not pay that money, and he, he, he kept boldly he telling me that those MP, uh, those MP people said he should not pay the five thousand. So that I said, the woman that uh, came to the uh, 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 the officer's wife said I should come to human rights and come and lay my complaint. And that is the only people that can help me. That is why. If we get if we lock you, she will come there and bring you. As they are calling her, she's shouting pa 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 like parrot today. If we lock you, she will still come and bail you, but she will be the one to come out and bail you.
heard what she said. Respond to her. Okay, I'll respond to that. I met uh, Victoria 2020. Because last year, November, 4th of November, I met Victoria was. We have a fellowship in my sister's place. We used to gather there every month of every last um, last day of the month. So I came there very late. So when I got to the to my sister's place, I was just sitting. She was staring at me. I was staring at her. Along the line, the day was it was late. So in the morning. I was, my mother was giving us drink. So I drank and I gave her. I said, what is your name? She said, her name is Victoria. Where are you from? She told me everything. Wow. I said, you look beautiful. She said, thank you. So I said, please, can I see you outside? She said, yes. I said, she now came out. When she came out, I was true. We strove to very close to the area there. When we got there, we sat down and we were talking. She now said, something came to her and said, I'm the right person for her. I said, wow, are you sure? She said, yes. She that Immediately she saw me, she fell in love with me. I was like, why will you just fall in love like this with me? Are you for real? She said, yes, that she just liked me. She said, okay let the will of god be done before the fellowship finish everybody she even refused to go home so the other the following day she went home so when she got to do your father where she was staying with uh let me call it my uncle she's not like she know we are not related but we know each we know him for years so that was very short i didn't knew that he was staying with the person so when i was i got there I introduced myself, I talked to her, and I said, ah, and, uh, brother, I came with Victoria, in case you now find her. The man said, okay, no problem, that I'm like a son to him also. I said, okay, I just want you to be that I'm with, I'm with Victoria. We started a uh, friendship. So along the line like that, so you know, Victoria started complaining that where she stayed, because she was looking so rough and tattered, like she was unkept. I feel pity for her. I started giving her money or buy her food, just be strolling like that. So along the line, she now told me that she is the one taking care of herself in that place. That sometimes the man will not give her food. I said, how will she give? How will he give you food? He's not related to you. He's not your father. He's nothing to you. So he's just helping you. So you have to be helping yourself also. So like that, like that, I said, ah, I mean, I stay in the barrack room. But I stay alone it was because of this guru I made my people to come there. It's not as if they were staying there with me. So I said I stay alone in the barrack. I said, okay. So before you know it, she my sister was doing a child education. I sat there and that night she wanted to go for house girl job in uh uh what is this place for Ojota. My sister looked for that job for her with the agent. They look for the job for Victoria, so so because of this, uh, because of the uh, because of the child education, she couldn't go. She have to call the agent that uh, she can't make it. Though, that tomorrow morning she will come to the place so that the man will take her to where she wants to job to do the job. I said, okay, okay. Now, where do you want to go and sleep? I said she doesn't know. I said, okay, what do you do? Eh? Carry your bag. Come down to my place. Tomorrow morning, pass from my place to your because she told me easier and not stressful. <clears throat> said okay. So when we got there, the first thing that came out from Victoria's mouth was she was embarrassing me. The way she talked that night, she, she started talking from after eight till to ten with abusive words. We took her the place we are staying. Very this, very that. I said, ah. and my mother now said, and my younger, my niece was there. She told my mother everything. She said, Kawar, the dealer was just talking. The way that just came the first day. And then my mother now said, I look at the woman you are mingling yourself with. How embarrassing she is. I said, Mom, see, no, no. 
like that. So the Victor now went to work. She he worked for just two months, not four months. She worked two months there. In that place, she was complaining that the woman is a Yoruba woman. The woman is not treating her. The woman is this. The woman is to starve her. The woman is this. The woman is stressing her. She now, my mother now, my, she now invited my mother, my mother to talk to that woman to act like her mother because my mother take her as a child, as a child. So my mother now spoke to the woman that, ah, madam, you know it's here, you get killed also. Why did they maltreat another person you came? You know who? If you get a work for you, take her as your own because you don't know what tomorrow will be. The woman now started using anger on my mom. Before you know, they now said to the matter and we gave you. I started working for two months. Victoria now left the job. When she left, I don't know where Victoria kept her money because I'm not, I'm not, I did eat Victoria money. So when she came back to the house, she now like, and after that, that this house gets job. Me, I don't want you to be doing it. I don't, it's always tap somebody's glory. It's not good for you to be doing it because you don't know who you are, who you are, where you are working. You don't know the kind of person the person is. You don't know what it can what can be happening at night when you are sleeping. You don't know the person. I said, well, what I'll do is that I'll look for money and give you. If you do is this fish, this mala fish, and maybe small thing, you add us be selling it in, in close to that my place so that where you'll be secure and okay, you'll be keeping money for yourself and working for somebody. He said, Okay, she said, ah, me, I like working out there job. I said, ah, I is are you meant to be doing all this kind of a job? She now saw another job, my sister now gave her. My sister now gave her another job at, um, where is it called? Sul uh, Liri. She just worked for 28 days. She said, the man is stressful. The man is tough. The man was, she, when she came, she looked very, very on, on kept. I, that day, when she came, I have to prepare something that she will eat that day. Now, along the line, Victoria was like, when she came fully, fully before she got pregnant, this pregnancy of 18 was, we are two. She said she wants to be the mother of my children. I said, ah, you want to be the mother of my children? I have not done anything on your head first. Week. Me, I'm not, I've not done. I don't want to be, I don't want to go and be buying goods, all those things before you start doing the need. She said she wants to be the mother of my unborn children. And before then, I was very scared because I used to uh, have to, you, need, you don't need to marry a woman when you have not observed or studied. You guys have not studied each other very well. I started observing. Uh, I now told myself, this one that this girl is forcing herself that she wants to uh, have pregnant for me. I don't know. So, I mean, I never knew that she has already went to my sisters and told them that she wants to have a pregnant for me so that she can pin me down, so that she can use that pregnancy to, uh, to, to frustrate me. They kept it to themselves. They did not tell me anything of that. It was later when we were together, me and Victoria were, were together. I make love to her. I immediately stood up. She got angry and said, Why would I stand up? She now said uh, that hey, don't, know, don't you know that if the woman, yeah, the man is sleeping with the woman and he's not making the woman to be pregnant, the man, the man is uh, using her. I said, ah, me, I'm not using you. Come here, I'm not. I'm not telling you that I want uh, to give you to have a child for me yet. We are still hustling. I don't want a child yet. Victoria got upset. I said, okay, I'm sorry. So before then, she now took in. When she took in, I don't know where she, how she took in, but before you know it, I now said, she started saying uh, she feel this thing. Before then, she, that- How do you know you don't know how she took in? You're in her That is what I'm saying, ma. Before then, what happened was that the area where she said that uh, uh, she took uh, drugs, she when she took the why she took the drugs, I did not tell her to take any drugs. She said uh, she wants to go for house get job. That she doesn't know how she's feeling. That she's feeling it's like she's pregnant. I said, I mean, I don't know where if you are pregnant. Though. She now said that uh, that she will go. I said, okay. I just say let me wash and see like kind of person she is. She she looked for. Um, Jesse and Allah. I said, what are you, do you want to use it for? She said, they said uh, women used to take it when they meet a man. I said, this thing, we don't know the repercussion of this. Thing. Why are you taking uh, all the drinks? Um, um, Allah. He said, no, she has to take it. 
That is how we did. I was just shocked when she took it. I said, I, in my mind, I said, this girl, don't do this thing before. That is why she's doing this thing in my presence. I said to myself, ah, God. I was like, she took that and go and I drink. She went to the work. She said, I told me here, I told me that. I did not bargain for her to take that one. That is her side. Now, when this girl was, um, when she said she, she missed her period, I said, okay, let's go for a test. We now went for a test. They said she's pregnant, just this urine test. They said, they said she's pregnant, but we don't know how many weeks. Because me, I was treating it like she's one month pregnant, like it's four weeks pregnant to me. Because I said, to, she herself said it's one month pregnant. I said, okay. So my sister was like, ah, okay. She said she, she has taken. Victoria left the house for one week. I don't know where about. My mother now said, they now said that a woman that is pregnant, she's pregnant for you. She's leaving the house. Where is she leaving the house to? Are you sure that this pregnancy is yours? I said, ah, I don't know. I don't know her whereabouts. Why would she leave the house? Without, I don't even know where she is. I started making inquiry. I started asking. I started. Right. Okay, I started asking where I to know how where she is. Before you know it, they said they saw her at. Uh, uh, what is this called? This place called. They said they saw her at. Um, they said they saw her at uh, Yonopaja side. They said they saw her at Yonopaja side. Ah, I said, who do the Victoria know in Yonopaja side? Like uh, this uh, doctor in the night I ran after them. I said, this girl, what kind of what kind of problem is this one? She's pregnant. She's going out and this. So my sister asked, they were just like. Are you sure this pregnancy, this girl is truly pregnant? Go and run scan. Because my mother said uh, um, that infection can cause a woman to miss a period. I said, okay, we went to scan. Scan now came out, the result now came out. It was seven weeks, two days. I was shocked. Because my intention, our uh, intention was two weeks, um, was four weeks. But when we went to scan, scan says the, the result, I need to be so that the result is sitting here. The scan result said seven weeks, two days. I was shocked. I was surprised because our intention was this one month. So I was like, ah, seven weeks. How come? I was shocked because she was doing house girl job. How seven come weeks, she's two seven weeks, two days? I was like, I was contemplating that. Ah, how come it's seven weeks when it's supposed to be four months? Like that, like that. Would that the matter? So I now, to, I was, I got upset as a man. To, I will not lie. I got upset as a man. I said, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm responsible for this pregnancy because. How come it's seven weeks and two days? And when we meet was uh fourth of the around month, and before you know, I now call a mom and say, Ma, we have gone for the uh, scandal. I don't know, I'm not even sure if I'm responsible for this pregnancy. Before you know, Victoria went to MP, come and arrest me. That is why I said cases at the community the police. She came and arrested me. What we got there after everything? She arrested the prisoner. She said I uh, denied the pregnancy. Then when we got there, I now said, okay, since I, I, I will be staying together, fine. As I accepted the responsibility that I'm responsible for the pregnancy, I said, okay. So to settle everything, I rather than take it out, okay, I'll be giving up money for this. But I don't know our whereabouts. Victoria left, I don't know Victoria whereabouts for a no, month. No, no, no. Don't okay, sorry. I don't know Victoria whereabouts for a month plus. I don't know where Victoria was. I was How she took you to? Uh, yes. Yes, ma. I don't know how Victoria where about for a month plus. So I was scared. So I was like, I was looking for her. Whenever I see her, they would say they saw her with one guy in the night. They said they saw her at the open with one guy. I was like, what that, are you? Am I even sure if I'm responsible for this pregnancy? That's where my problem is. So I just accepted the fact that okay, let me just take it because it has it is with me. Let me just accept the responsibility. Before I know it, Victoria started giving ever since she got pregnant, Victoria has started giving me. Um, as I am, that's why my mother is sounding so bitter. My mother is bitter with me because my mother is not happy with me. Oh. Yes, I'll tell you why. Because as a mother, you expect when you do a, a, a woman, my a love is there, you want to you love her. Let Victoria will be embarrassing in the presence of my mother, in the presence of my sister, you will be embarrassing in front of in present of people, eliminating me, insulting me when I'm providing a try as I'm an electrician. Man. I go out, I'll, also, I'll come back. Victoria will collect the money and 
buy something and eat, she will never tell me, thank you, God bless you. Instead, from line, like this afternoon, George, the tutor will tell me that, that instead of her to tell me, God bless me, she will refer to God bless to her ex-boyfriend. And was shocked. I now said, okay, my mother now said that, what can, what are you doing like this? If I'm a witness, I have proof. That is why I'm very confident with this. She now said that uh, she cannot tell you after all this. She doesn't love me. Uh, that, that. I said, ah, you don't love them. What are you doing with me? Let's separate. Uh, let everybody go. Let everybody get their day. Let me have peace of mind. Before you know, Victoria will be beating me. The day she called me and said that, hey, what am I saying about this pregnancy? I called her, I said, we've already talked about this, keep the pregnancy. Our God will provide, will take responsibility. And I said, okay, fine. Two cannot work together unless they agree. Okay, what do you also want to say? What do you want to do about the pregnancy? Is that what we like to ask now? Before you know, the children dragged me to the bush, slapped me on my face. Water started coming out from my height. In the front of my mom, I was embarrassed that night. In the bush? Yes. Because uh, people have, have, no, we have a uh, farm close to that place. She dragged me there. She was pushing me like if she was pushing a baby. She took me there. She slapped me on my face. I was so embarrassed. What I was coming out from my mind, my my, my, my eyes, man. And before you know, Victoria said, "What are we saying?" Before you know, I said, "What are you doing?" I have to leave to leave the pregnancy. So before you know, Victoria will Victoria will leave the house in the morning and come back in the night. Up to the end, I got upset. I wrote paper, let letter like this. We should agree that anytime you leave this house, you are not coming back because I cannot be. You cannot be taking decision of your own. You are not the one feed, uh, feeding me. I'm the one feeding you. So I will be having upper hand on me like that, like that. It's nothing. Victoria will be swearing for me that as you are going out, it shall never be well with you. A woman that is pregnant for you, be playing negative course on you. Then you expect that man to go and also and bring money. God will punish your enemy. It will never be well with you. This uh, pregnancy will kill you. <gasps> Victoria will be swearing to my mother about shock in the night. The area where she said, they beat her. Nobody beat Victoria. It was the day she came back from uh, uh, one my house. My sister said they should, should follow her to a job at uh, this place so that Victoria can be selling also for herself. I said, okay, no problem. But the job, are you sure it's not going to be stressful? You know your condition. I was like, oh, Victoria, because of your condition, I don't want to say that the, uh, because of your uh, pregnancy that, like that. So she now went to my sister's place. When she came back in a week, said she wants to go to church. I said, babe, this uh, after eight, you can't go to church. You have you came back from where you went to for a week. You have to rest. Tomorrow is Sunday. All of us, two of us will go to church. Because I used to go to your father's church. Two of us will go to church. The tutor said, I don't have any right to stop her. I said, no, you know, like I'm stopping not to go to church. But because of the time and the road is very uh, busy. And you don't know what the night carries. Don't go. Tomorrow we'll go before you know the tutor started. Creating sin, started insulting me, beating me, dragging me. I was dragging, I was also equally dragged. I was minding the door because she told me that she must to go. And I said, Okay, let's see who is the man. She said she must to go. I held the door. That was why she was dragging, dragging, dragging up to the other She hit herself. I don't, you know, I did not touch her. So, you know, Victoria was humiliating me, took me to MP. They did all kinds of things. She, before you know, any place, any place that Victoria will see me, she will embarrass me. I will give Victoria money to cook. She will eat the food without appreciating me. Instead of that, she will say that uh, she will never tell me thank you, that I don't deserve it, that this, this is how to appreciate me. She will take it to, to, to whoever that, is, that wants to be appreciated. That is how Victoria has been treating me up to the extent I got frustrated, even up. There is no place that Victoria have not reported this case. Even in the Bahra, they are very, I'm very, I'm, she's very popular because of this pregnancy. Is she the only one pregnant? She's very popular in the Bahra. Up to the extent, there's no woman that said, uh, because the woman was like, she came to the woman first. She told the woman, every pocket and books lie. So when the man now called me and my mom, my mom and explained everything to her, Victoria became enemy to that woman. Up to the extent that the woman said that, she doesn't want Victoria's greeting. But she doesn't want Victoria's greeting. But she's not a recommended person. I was taking that. I was taking that shame because of this pregnancy. She has taken my name, printed everywhere, calling my name. I took out. I took. I will lay out my. I have younger ones who 
who has children, I cannot open my mouth to tell you to go and afford. I've never in my life since she got pregnant told Victoria to go and afford it. It was even uh, that on, uh, on Saturday, she left the house without my knowledge. I did not know where Victoria was because I came back from, I went, because whenever she woke up from sleep, she will see me face to face. Victoria will never tell me good morning. She will not greet me. How will I be happy as a man? And when I will not say, okay, sometimes I'll give her money. She will look at eat the food once because I just want her to eat the food. I'll go up to get the bully down, also and come back. I'll say, babe, take food. I bought you food, I bought you orange, I bought you this. Just keep it me. The teller will just say, keep it here. I'll wait for her to say thank you. She will not say, this is right, she will just mind her business. I'll feel like maybe I'm wasting my time. Maybe I'm just pouring water on a leaf. I'll go and also, I'll bring money. Take babe, arrange something to eat. The teller will take it without even appreciation, appreciating my effort. Oh, how will I be happy? Before you know it, she started acting weird. On Saturday, she left house. I did not know her whereabouts. I started doing it so fast. How many times that you do not know her whereabouts? Is this very one? Not that this very one. Who, she has done it. This one, this one alone, is making like either four or five times. Four to five times. In the same month. Or In the same month, this pregnancy. It, it, this it, very it, month. No, this very month she did it. Um, this very month she has done it like three times. You right? If she go out, she come back. Uh, how many? Uh, like how long? Did she she will go in the morning. She'll come back like nine or eight after eight in the night. Where did you go? I will not even see you know it's even pass and enter there. I should not even say anything. But did you used to give her money? I give her money as a, a witness. Even the MP, that's what they said they are even inviting her so that they will hear from her. I give her money. There's no day that I don't go out and work and give Victoria money. She said there's one statement she makes. She said she wants to eat this pregnancy to frustrate me. Go let that one alone. She told my family. And exactly that is what, exactly what she's doing, man. Ever since this girl got pregnant, I've been frustrated by one, by one way or the other. I'm not, be, I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. I will not lie to you. I'm not happy with you. Okay. One, this is your the mind of wanting her to be telling you thank you, thank you every second. Appreciation is good in all standards. But you are the one that impregnated that. It's yes. Your not, yes, ma'am. That ma is why you need to prepare first before you engage in this kind of journey. Yes, ma'am. You will prepare, have your money, have your house. Have everything, go home, study the person, go home and marry the person officially. Even if you marry the person, that doesn't mean the person cannot misbehave. Most people pretend at times. But when you give her water, you want to say thank you, give her this thing, thank you. Thank you is an act of appreciation, yes. which can anybody Very well down. But it's not something that you should be using. Yes, it's not a national okay. anthem, but it's something that she has never done. Instead of that, she will say that. So that area of using negative word, abusing word, like God will punish you. She'll never be well with you. The one she said the other day, I stood outside, we just acting like I have Okay, phone. hold on. Victoria, what did he do uh, that night to slap him? Um, I think I won't like I slapped him one because countless times. Uh -uh. Okay, sorry. Sorry. I won't lie because um I think God is in his own presence. So I'll just say the truth and nothing but the truth. As who has been beating me in the presence of his mom, his mom will not say anything. The only thing his mom will tell me that a, a husband has the right to beat a wife. Even even his sister, there's, there's one of his sister that smoke. Even him himself, I got to notice that he smoke and he like him. So that his sister, when he came back, his eye was red and he started saying that uh, these girls that are in this house, they are just whining you, including my mom. You don't know what they are doing. Before you knew it, this girl um, started slapping me. His neighbor, there was a guy, he's his neighbor. For nature statement, what you are talking is not about it. Okay. That is your statement, no, you know, enter at all. You know, right? So, there is that time of life, what you are saying. The sister come back and just say, uh this uh, they are just whining you then he started slapping this, she's the one that said they are whining you then she, she again started slapping you yes, Victoria. yes how tell tell us exactly what happened why were you slapping this guy Ma, this guy did you mm. that his sister beat me that day what led to that i don't know because the lady smoked his eye was red i don't know whether he didn't know what she was doing or not mm. his own neighbor there was a guy that was there um, witness everything. 
you have not even made any reason. So, you have not given reason why you slapped him. Okay. Were you slapped him because of the sister? No. Or you are slapping so because of the mother? Been, why did you slap him that day? He has been doing that, beating me up. People are giving the respect as a man. Okay, this is a man. How many times? What? Give us one instance. One Same particular day. No. Give us one instance. So, so day I came back, I did this. This what I did and he slapped me. Okay. Or beat me. Give okay. one instance. This is what happened. Yeah. He's going to church, and before he was going to church, the name of the church is um, Speak up, or speak up. The name of the church is um, is in Kenya. Um, I've forgotten the name of the church, but I know the um, Mount Zion Lighthouse. So they gave him money for him to do a, a fan in the church. A past, the pastor of the church gave him money for him to do the fan in the church. So he now took the money and ran away. He never did the fan, and he never did anything. So when I started pulling them to the church, I was hearing the report of him stealing, even even in the environment, he's stealing. So when I came back, I'm telling him, go and do this fun. That is he's a cost. No, they gave him money he should um, he um, the repay. Yes. Still the church. He's, not, he's not attending the church again. He has run away from the church. He's now condemning the church. So I now told him that, do this thing. If you know that, okay, you are now um, and, and trying to become a man, you are not serious with your life, you have to get away with all this bad life. So, because of that, soon that we came back from church, because of the embarrassment, the, the pastor was on the altar, laying course for him and his mother. His own mother, he said, that he used to um, and spoil people and remove people from the church. So, I now say, when his mother was saying, okay, go and do this one, this thing has been done. So, for me to just uh, raise the voice and say, uh, and um, you know that this thing is bad for you. He now landed this slap. He said, This is family family matter. Who gave you the right to voice out? His mother now stand up. My eye was red. So I now own my car. I was expecting that the mom would say, Okay, this is not right. I now made him I said, Look at what that's for this one. That this thing is becoming much. Any slightest thing you beat me. I'm not a slimmer. For the fact that I am an orphan, it's someone that gave it to me painfully. So that is when any time he wants to sleep with me, because sometimes you come to sleep with me. If I refuse, he will start me. Sometimes you say, okay, uh, don't worry, the kind that I will do is you will not know. Because I have this problem that I sleep deep. So anytime, sometimes when I wake up, I'll catch him sleeping with me while I am asleep. So that was the time. And I've warned him that you don't do this, that it's as if you are raping me. If you want to have anything with me, it's my own agreement. I'll, you don't do that when I'm, and you will spoil my body when I wake up, my body will be paining me. That was the day to go to make me. I slapped him that night. I said that it's like, you, 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 uh, like you are not okay. So I slapped him that On night. Bed. Yes, I slapped him. Okay, what of the one you push him to the bush where the man was, you slapped him? And... That one is a lie. All what he's saying is a lie. One thing I can say, okay, if he are saying all this to me, he has done it to a girl. I can take you to, uh, to where they are living, Osho de Barra. That was where they were staying before. There are witnesses all over the people. They know the girl. And the girl was pregnant for three months. The same thing that they did to me. The mother asked the girl to abort the pregnancy. The girl aborted the pregnancy and the girl went back to Ikorodu. That's the way you have the girl number. I don't have the girl number, but there's a woman, those people they know. I don't if you have the girl number, you will tell me because you need to arrest this man mother for all this kind of corruption. It's only the woman that knows. I don't know if they can trace the girl, but the girl is staying at Ikorodu. He, he has the girl's number because he used to tell me that um, he has the girl's number that he wants to call the girl in court. He has the girl's number. What is the name of the girl? The name of the girl is Mercy. I think I saw it in his diary, my Mercy. Have you dated Mercy before? No, Mercy. Yes. Okay. Have, has she ever aborted you? She has never aborted Give us the number. They said for no, three no. times. The last time was three months pregnant. How can you say you don't have somebody's number? He, he has, has it. it. My heart it is lying. They said the number is on your And phone. he said he knows where he gets eh? in at the Corrodo. Hold on. You said the number is in your phone. In his diary, he we used know. to write down number. I saw the girl's number, my mercy. And he knows where the girl is staying at the Do The girl is still there. And the mother. If I'm lying, that's the only way to know the truth. So that was the day you slapped him on bed? Too. No, the day I slapped him on, on bed, he tried to uh, force me to rape me. That is when I slapped him. Uh, you have said two things now. You say you wake up and you yes, slept with you. That is what I'm saying. I told him that anytime you want to sleep with Okay, him, did you tell this guy that you the day you saw him, that he felt he someone that you, you've already met someone. Ma, I can't say that. 
this guy, if you even ask the man I was staying with, is after I refused this guy, I went back to my uncle. This guy has been forming the consecutive time, telling the, the man that he wants to marry me, that he likes me. The man now said, if you love this girl, want to marry this girl, I'll, I'll, I'll take you to a palace where you can meet these people. That is what the man said. Okay, the, the second... Uh... You said you have left the house or counted. Where do you usually live? To? When I left the house was the day I, I I I was pregnant. So he used the dog to eat me my side by my side. No, you said you have that left the house or counted all the ones you have been living. The so only no, time where I left... where have you been going? Okay. The only time I left the house was when I am pregnant and I was trying to secure my life. Is this pregnancy that is part of my name? You the left that. Yeah, you left. You go out. You secure. You come back to the same house. You no. go back again. You secure. You when, come back. No. When How I, were you living? Okay. When he hit me by my side, I went back to that same doctor that told him that because he has run tests for me two times, the first test they removed my blood. So the doctor advised him that this girl can pass on any time that she doesn't have much blood in her body. So when they were maltreating me, I fainted. My hand was stiff. So I ran back to the doctor. I said. Look at what is happening. That, that house is not safe. It was the doctor that advised me that if I know anybody or any way to stay, that I should stay there. That if he kills me today, I, I am forgotten and there's no two ways. Then where did you not go that time? That day, when he, when he finally know where I was, I was sitting in a bush. I was just sitting like this. Uh, for how many days? It was just for two days. You, you stay in the bush for two yes, days. Which of the bush? Is in that barrack. And you did not eat? I, I didn't eat. You now went it and inside the bush and stay. Not really inside. There are people scouting the, the bush, the places that they are not yet built. So I just stayed beside the place. I was just uh, thinking of what to do. Like what would One I day do? you stay a whole day. The second day again, you stay a whole day. It was the second day that he saw me in the morning. He said that I went to church and he not come, but that was the second day that he saw me. Okay, the second one, where did you go to? He saw, the second day I came back to the house. So the second time that you left home, where did you go to? Um, I don't remember. Okay, the second time is this one, this very one that is talking about. This is the second time. Um, the second time. What of the one you went to on top of it? I don't, I, I did not go anywhere in top of it. I never did. The only thing I remember that the second time that when they took me for stand, to run a stand, like I said yesterday, that they left me, they did not give me food. I fainted and my hands still. They collected my phone. They blocked my line. Right now, I don't have a phone. They have blocked my line. I don't. I don't. Oh, I you. Mm, he blocked my line with his sisters. The mom said he should do that. Should. Where is the? Where is your phone? Is with him. He has, where is that? Is the one that? Mm -hmm. That phone. Hey? Sorry, man. Let me come up on that. Uh, where is your own phone? Did you give it to them? No, no, give no, us that. That phone. That phone. Where is that phone? Okay. The phone he gave it to me mm. because um, if you enter barrack, you hear of the story. Anytime that they give him money to work, you carry that person's money, you not do the work. So there's this woman that collected, seized the phone because of it not doing the mass room. So when 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 the the long day that he said we should go and drink him, man. so when I went, he now ran out, he now ran and left me in the uh, in the uh, place that they used to drink. So the woman now said he want that he wants to arrest me. Because he has seen me with a criminal. And I said, What happened? The man had explained everything that he, he sold the um, uh, and the fan falls and the other fan for it. And uh, he sold it and he did not do the work. This one. So the man was, I said, I now knew that I'm taking him. I said, Please forgive him. For my sake, that he should just help me because the man is from my church. That is why I now say to the matter, I begged him that he should not pay the money. He paid the money. The man now returned the phone that he collected and gave it to me. So him, he now gave me the phone. When he gave me the phone, the mother now said he's not supposed to give me the phone, that he's supposed to give it to his sisters. So he has given me this phone because he has break one thing like that that he gave me the phone. He tells me the book. So the mother now said he should collect the phone for me. He said, no, I'll be using this phone. This uh, issue of pregnancy that I fainted, all of them ran away and left me in that hospital. That is when they collected the phone. And so now went and blocked that line. Now went and blocked that MTN line. That is how I don't... I don't have this thing. So now we don't want the MTN line. Is that is the one that wants the MTN line? It's okay. Wait, before you met him, you don't have phone? Um before I met him, I have a phone. I have a small phone, but 
I, I don't have seen because the phone that I had, they stole it during that instance. The, the shop that I was working with. Did you tell him that you rather tell your ex boyfriend, thank you, or God bless you, than other than that, instead of telling him, be truthful to yourself. Okay. Not to anybody. Be truthful to yourself because you are talking to another. Yes. Man, this is what happened. It's the young man that I. I first asked when I asked the question before you explain, but I say yes. And then you explain reason. Okay. Did you? Okay. Yes, man, I did. Explain. Um, there's this young man that I met when I was staying in Yanapanya because um, the, the um, I would like for the what the man said to me when she agreed to abort in her house, she said that uh, she's suffering to feed uh, herself with these children and the husband. That if I can see a world that I work at the end of the month, I'll buy food store and keep for myself that me living there will not be a problem. So initially, I've been feeding on my own through my salary, and it's become like it wasn't enough because it was 10,000 naira. So it, there was this um, um, young guy that approached me that he likes me, blah, 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 but that was never uh, what I thought of. So I, I explained everything for the guy. I told him that I'm not ready for any boyfriend, but if it's that, but this is the condition that I am, that if um, he choose to help me, that they won't help me. So the guy now said, okay, fine. That he's not going to take advantage of me, maybe sleeping with me. That it's going to be like that brother is going to enter. And the guy has been doing so without sex. The guy has been helping me even when, um, even when I had um, 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 one issue, if I want to put it to be strong, so my distance shut out a bit. The guy took me to hospital. He has been like a brother. So when he was maltreating me, I told, I told him that. This is not right. They are telling me that this is how men behave. That this is a guy that was like a, a brother. He never treated me this way. Even for the fact that he had that I was an orphan. He was there like a brother. Even up to now that there's this issue. Sometimes there's one that is stabbed me. I put the guy to I explained everything for him. The guy sent me two thousand in his presence. He sent me two thousand naira. I used it. I used the two thousand and eight. And it so that's the guy is to tell him that okay, the guy is like your brother or your boyfriend. No, we are friends. But I explained everything to him. I said because that was the first. Is, is it this guy that know you, the virgin? No, he's eh? not the guy. He's not the guy. Yes. Have you dated any person in Lagos? No. That, see, no. Since my mother has born me, that is the first person. That oh. This guy and I explained everything to him. He's the first person. Yes. That's left with you. No, it's the first person that I said, okay, I'm a, and maybe I'm doing, I'm making no. friends with him. Man. The question I'm asking is this this person, Mr. Joseph, that the flower uses virgin hill as opposed to? Eh? He's not the first person. Hey, you, I asked you a question, he says no. Then you now say this person is like no, your brother. Is... Who did virgin you first? I, I never wanted to say because this thing is kind of like then stop. But it's not this person. It's not this person. I know the guy. It's my sister's brother that arrest okay. me when I was small. Yeah, I say stop it, but you still want to go further. So now you know. One, I want to be sure if this pregnancy is for this person. Okay. Like because now I'm ready anything that he wants to do, mm. even though he's anything. If it's not for him, it doesn't mean we're not going to protect you. But we we'll don't want you to complicate issues for yourself. Okay. It will be embarrassing to you as a young girl. You will give pregnancy to someone that is, that is not responsible for it. Okay. Even if you have made a mistake. Okay. Do you get it? Yes. Because I I see some I see some of your statement inconsistent. You understand? And I see where you also talk to but I see some areas that you like. And you are talking to a woman, and you are equally talking to an adult, and you are talking to the whole world. You are not speaking to me alone. And people are analyzing your statement as well. Okay? Okay, according to him, I want to ask you as well. The period she said she was pregnant, were you suspecting that you were not responsible at that moment? or what is what is your what is your concern then is it that she told you i'm just pregnant and you expect the pregnancy to the woman or you felt three people did not have sex at the time she's claiming the uh you know, pregnant her okay. oh, when she was doing i was doing 
but the day she called me that. Was she sleeping where she was doing her Yes, sleep? she stays there. So she told me one day that whenever there's nobody at home, the man brother used to touch her. So, and I said that this one, this one that this man is touching you, report her to you, report him to her auntie. She said, no, she will, he will, she will not report him yet. But if he tries the second time, he will, she will report the guy. So, before then, because she now, she worked for there for 28 days. I will not lie. She worked for there for 28 days. When she came back, she said she wanted to be pregnant for me. I was, she was eager to be pregnant for me. I want to be the mother of your kid. I said, this one, she forced me. I wanted to stand. I have not released this idea. She held me close as if she, she had any interior motive. She held me. I wanted to, she held me till everything came inside. She made me, she, I stood up to say, I don't know she's pregnant. Okay? How do you know you are, you are pregnant? And I was, as I then I started calculating the day I slept with them. It was on the fourth of um that was on the fourth of this that very month. So I started calculating it. So when I went for that, the day I said I want to run to, to stand, I said this pregnancy, I told my staff, I picked Victoria for so 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 so, so day and this month. Pregnancy with one month. I was one four weeks. That was my calculation, and I knew where I slept. With that. If I start, I say, I'm gonna go around there. Before then, my sister dreamt that. I'm not. My sister told me my last our uh, third one said Brasico. She called me. She said she has been trying my number since. I said, oh, wow. She said she wanted more information. Trip. I said, what's happen? Say that pregnancy. Do you get that? Now one guy get that pregnancy. The guy now slim guy black. He don't get house. She's. You are not responsible for the pregnancy. You tell her, I just want to leave you into this pregnancy. I said, hey. Eh? So I went to a scan. My step was, was just anxious. Go around scan so that you know how many weeks or how many months. I said, I it's no past one month. But at the time, maybe I'm at a couple times. So if you go around scan, there's going to be one month and one day. My when we went to scan, the result came up seven weeks. I said, can be seven weeks. I've never run scan before. I started calculating it. They say it's. No, it's like it's close to two months. Yes. Two months and seven. Uh, yeah, one month and two, six one month, and three weeks. Yep, yeah. So, so I never said, ah, I was confused because my calculation was one month, one day. I swear down. But I, the result came out. This is one week, um, seven weeks, two days. Okay, we did that period. Was she still working? As at then, she has already, as I went, she was pregnant with this issue. I told that to. No, before then, I didn't even know if you scan. She has stopped doing house get job. So the day she went to this scan, before she even, before she even went to this scan, I was forcing her. She was not around. She left the house for a week from Monday to Friday. It wasn't, she was not around. I was one calling her. Only where are you? I was hearing noise like she was in a uh, part, like a uh, uh, like, uh, joint. I was saying, where are you? Let's go and uh, uh, run a uh, uh, pregnancy test. Let's go. Let's go. I was calling her. Why have you blocked the line, man? Because she put me on a blacklist. If I call her, she will busy my line. And it's my line. And she left the house. So my, I just called my, I called myself. Let me get this line. Let me, let me carry my uh, details. Go register. But this guy is going to do something. They're going to trace my distance. I, I went to, I called. It was MTN customer care I called. They called her for fraudulent act. They blocked it. That was what I did. I was the one that gave her the line. Because then I was securing my my personality. I went to go and block the line. So this pregnancy issue, she it was one supposed to be one month and a day. But when the result came out, it was seven weeks, two days. But that was where I was short of work. But I don't have any option. I have to just accept it. Is that why your mother wanted this? Uh, uh, okay, fine. My mother, for mother, my, my mother never took Victoria to about any pregnancy. Yes, in my present. The only thing my mother said, say, ah, um, she needs, she wants, like, my daughter used to say, actually, uh, she needs 120 grandchildren from us. Like, the, okay, you mother said that need all those kind of things, we tell a girl to go and about the pregnancy. Victoria left this house for a, my place for a week. One day she now called me that she has, she has started, they've started. Uh, it's okay, let's hear from people before. Before we have people in the So what have you been writing? Give me the phone. You are writing as a lawyer for money tonight. You don't have any questions. They usually answer. Sorry, my 
because the last one that I was asked for a long time before I even uh, took it. And when when I noticed that I'm pregnant, it was in the morning. It was in the morning. All this one that I seen is lying. It's all lies. If I have a pregnancy as a woman and I'm looking for a man to give the pregnancy, I won't I would I would force her to live in that house. But right now my issue is that when he said it's not the pregnancy, I said, okay, fine, that there is no problem. I'll go my way. Even though the statement that I made, I said, even though it's in the gutter, I'll stay and I'll I'll give birth to this child and I will have this child. That is what I said. Or even though it, it means me going to the village that I will go. But anytime I want to go, you say no, I should not come. And at the same time, he's saying he's not re responsible for the pregnancy. Or for him to still have me sleeping with me. So if I'm forcing him that okay, um, you are the one that gave me pregnancy, you are the one. I'll I'll forcefully say that because right now I don't even need anything from him. Even though they rent an apartment, I don't want to live with him. Even though he has money in future, I don't want to marry him. I want to be left alone with this child. I want to be left alone with my child and have peace. Because anywhere I go, he will come out condemning me, saying all series of things. The people that want to help me, they will um, um, hands off their hands on me. So now I don't want to go back to their family. He has done this to me. It's fine. I'll go with it. I'll go with the disgrace. I'll take care of myself with the child. Anyhow, I can with it, with the grace of God. But all the lies I saying, there's no problem. Only God knows the truth. And one day the truth will be revealed. That is what I mean. So the child belongs to him. The child belongs to him. Okay. Uh, the call line is 090 is the call line for if any, any of you that wish to put call across to the south based on your observation, please call it. Thank you. And please be audible and you turn down the volume of wherever you are calling from. Afternoon, your name or where you are calling from, please. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Gabriel and I'm calling from Germany. Good afternoon, sir. Go ahead. belongs to you what would you do because number one we're, we're, not, we're just op open the call line for people's opinion because at the end of the day we still have a resolution over this matter so if the child comes out to be your child and as you have disgraced her openly as she sleep outside as you are suspecting her she hold you tight as she's the one that is asking you i love you we are she are finding fulfilled yeah. and decent husband only you Mm -hmm. I have a big responsibility. 
Say it now. He's talking to you. I'll take the responsibility. Say you will take the responsibility. Yeah. The child becomes your own. You have already deformed her character, and you will not. You must pay her for the formation of becoming her character. But go in for Whatever you are saying in this office, you must stand to say the truth. Yes, I think that's what's good. Yeah, but you will take the responsibility. The child told us to be your own. What? It, what? Okay. What about the allegation you've made on her? As she sleep, you are not sure that like, the pregnancy belongs to you. This and that and that. I'm not laying. I didn't lay allegation. On her. Then you are sure. It is. I have weakness on this. On this. Floor. What is the witness? Like the pregnancy is no, no, because she said she was pregnant. She, nothing happened. No. There's nothing that happened. She just left the house. She will come out like, like later. She will come and highlight like, two clothes and leave. Or oh, ask my sister where Victoria go. Victoria, where do you normally go? Stop this tears face. Where do you normally go? Keep that tears face. Hmm? Well, like this very well. Mm. I went to um, an officer's wife house. I went and stayed there. So that the woman can give me food so that I won't die. You know, by saying can call it was the woman that called you and said that she comes to a human rights office so that I won't die. Because they were not giving you food. Yes, since that Saturday from morning to three o'clock. I never eat all because my wood is weight. I bring it to give me one thing and to buy kerosene. No, they refuse. I asked the mother for even his last born brother uttered a word that if this girl died with this pregnancy, what will happen? The mother said I don't, don't consign her. That is when I went to, to the officer's wife. Even when the officer's wife called Just her, look at the way he spoke to the woman. Don't let me call you name this afternoon. Your mother that is talking pa, 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 like parrot, they are calling her, did she even give you one second to talk? I'm still going to arrest her. If she don't come to this office to come and answer to all this allegation. You are doing as if you are shocked at your mother. But with the present, with the way your mother was talking on phone, shows that she can do what this guy is saying. And she has ch ch uh, kids. She gave birth to you, so she know what it takes for somebody to be pregnant. I'm with you. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Your name and where you are calling from, please. Good afternoon. Yeah, my name is Robert. I'm calling from Nevertheless. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I want this uh, uh, program today. I met with some of these uh, this guy with their own life. Sorry, love it. Good afternoon. Your name and where you're coming from. 
Sorry, we can't hear you, sir. Francis, go ahead. Sir. So we can hear you. Can you call back or you speak up? Your name and where you are calling from? Mr. Thank you, sir. Mr. Who? Okay. Oh. The law, the law, the law, the law. I've never seen your credit, so it's like a withdrawal. Don't let me sue you. You know, I know it's you. Um, which of that whatever you whatever uh, what is the contact taking you right here to 
problem if you before you're in trouble. Why did you shake your hands? Hold on, let me tell you one thing. Hey, we are not going into that yet, but I'm going to tell you another thing that you don't tell. You don't know the pregnancy you carry, you are not uh, is that pregnancy is not in your hand. And you are still very young, you are not an old person. That you feel if you are pregnant, uh, if, is it because this guy did not marry you? If you are married and you are pregnant, don't you know you are supposed to work? Is the pregnancy in your hands? Mom, Aren't you supposed walking. to work and take care of yourself as well? I'm walking. It's not that I was looking for before he brought a fee to come and, and start the care for me. It's not, it's not that I was looking for. The You're looking that... for where? Is the work that was making you to be sleeping around, uh, not staying in the house? Let me answer call first before we go into that. Your name and where you are calling from, please. Hi. Good morning. My name is Sorry, we can't hear you. We just say hello and your voice has turned back. Oh, sorry. Good morning. My name is Omo. I'm calling from Canada. Omo, go ahead. Um, um, I'm calling okay. in this case. Uh, yesterday. Uh, there's something I need to tell you about from that one. Okay. You okay. said that you went to run this one. And uh, What are the words? He said that we went for a scan, right? Yes. He was expecting for the for the result to be a full second. Yeah, I want to find out something. He said the record that he received was that his first time of having sex with his baby. No, they said is that the first time of still having sex with her? Because um she had not Yes or no? No. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your name and where you are calling from? Actually, we barely hear you here. Actually, are you calling rest of this case? Yeah. Okay, I'm calling Oh, sorry. Maybe your credit finished. Turn down the voice. Your name and where you're calling from? Sorry, call back. We can't hear you. Either, either, we can't hear you, please. Hello? 
Allah your name and where you are coming from. Hello, good evening. I am yeah. Mr. King and I'm telling you to give you. Go ahead. Okay, please, I'm telling you in respect of that case because I am in the law of everything that is happening there. You are what? I, hello? You are in what? Yes, I am in the law of okay. everything that is happening with that family. Oh really? That, yes, that girl needs help my thing. Okay. Uh, I actually referred her to come to that place myself. Okay. And the little witness that family they are wicked. Okay. The mother of that guy is not a good man. Okay. I am so ashamed that she's a mother. I am ashamed because I am a mother and she's acting that way. She's been treating that young girl very badly. Okay. Very badly. She has well-worked children all through. All our daughter's friends. You mm. can come to the parents and do your finding work. Come with your camera. Come quickly. Don't even let anybody know you're coming. Walk around and ask questions about that one. In that environment, and this little girl, what is he doing to her? Is this girl at the point of death gathering to be that girl with pregnancy that we want to talk about? The mm. whole of the family will gather and beat her. Is it the point of throwing her into the rain? Is it the point of isolating a little, little, they have you come to even see where they are living. They are living inside the kitchen. Of the kitchen is the big you, is what they are living. And to be very honest with you, 10 people are living inside that small people. Come and respect. If you say it is, maybe you don't believe what they are saying. Where they are living is not a room, it is a kitchen. And 10 persons are inside that room. In the night, when they sleep, they sleep in that kitchen. Your name and where you're calling from. Go ahead. Okay. Help us speak up so that they can equally hear you. Thank you. 
Yeah. And most of these people don't have anybody to speak for them. And if they ask them to say their issue the way it is, they can never be straight. That is one side of this story concerning the girl. Another thing is that any woman who has had any people, we know that when you are pregnant as a woman, you have to be remembered very good. Yeah. Your sense of remembrance is very good. It's very difficult for this girl to be able to tell a deep story. What's the one that went and went? She's from the data concentration. You will find out that there is something that's key. And the key thing is that. This man has been taking you for time on the regular. Mm. As the man is saying that this time is not a problem, they're not coming to argue whether it's a problem or not. Because when they say it's a problem, it's simply not the order. So children, when they come out, they just think that they are older. So we want to say that when they tell this problem, this needs to be a life problem. But in this case, I could think of this man who has been using this girl. And if he knew that he could talk to Sarah, why are you using her? Why is the man using her? He would have left her alone. Yeah. This is one side of the story. On the other side is the mother of the man. Yeah. From where she saw, from where she started on the phone, she can even do more than that. We know how a pregnant woman can be very hungry. A pregnant woman that could give it to from a rich home. In another man's food, in, in another man's food, I want to eat to let me know the one that they begin to eat. Why won't she leave the house? Why won't she go and beg for food? Her mentality will be divided into more than two parts. She cannot be rich. And once a woman is pregnant, she begins to eat. She cries when she does not want to cry. She's hungry when others are not hungry. She's not comfortable with a particular space, a kind of breakfast, and it's not part of it. Let's say, this is to girls. I don't want to beg everybody to put their hands together. Don't be wrong with people of the way that we just drop our hands to and uh, go our way. Let people help her. If she's not comfortable with where she is, and she's uh, comfortable to go down to that man's house, I don't think she should be forced down to the man's house. She knows what she has. And every woman knows that when she is pregnant, there are women that the moment they are pregnant, they will speak to their husband in the context. Let me say, when you're with women and your husband, you're having that much, you think it's very, very, very nice, you come and talk to you. I mean, I, I cannot support that. Thank you. For the sake of that little baby. So please, I, I think we should come together and treat you and help her with whatever we can help her while she's working. Because she's not going to be able to do that. And then she will have to speak to her. And I think any close relative of her that she knows should also be invited. Yeah. So that we don't want to hand her over to the exactly. Yeah. So I should not enter the hands of people that will kill her. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you very much, my sister. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, your name and where you are calling from. Please, uh, Janet from Oweri, please kindly call me, uh, send me a message on 0803302450. Go ahead, please. Hello. Hello. Your name and where you are calling from. Okay, my name is Victory. Calling from Victory. Victory. Victory, yes, from Oweri. Okay, go ahead. Please, please, uh, are you hearing me? Yeah. I'm not hearing you. Where should you learn this man? And his mother. The guy is an, okay, the, the guy mother. Are you hearing me? Yes. His mother is not a good mother. This is a good mother. Even though it's a good place that this lady is, even if she has been out of the room, Thank you. 
All right, thank you. And what we should do now, one, um, let's, let's, uh, Victoria, who, might, who do you have in the village that you want to go and do it? Speak up, speak up, speak up. I have a woman with my daddy's sister's, with my daddy's sister's daughter. So I also have someone in Calabar. She's my stepsister, like my stepsister that we are the same um, father, we are the same mother. It's the same, she's sharing the same mother with my sister. So, but with this issue, has been calling the woman. Has been calling the woman that you know responsible, you know responsible for the pregnancy. Later you call the woman back that is the one responsible that it is mother that pushed him to life. So the woman is now saying that it's tired that her children um, come back with the pregnancy because it's like because you don't understand the woman. So I feel that the pray that I can go. Uh, hold on, hold on. Good afternoon, your name and where you are calling from. Thank you. Our lost caller will concentrate more on the how we can be of to her. The law? Okay. Yes. Thank you, God bless you. Please uh, disregard the account number here now. The one that is mistake 0105734206. We are still going to announce for those that supported that yesterday. We will put record of that one down. Stop complicating issue for yourself and yourself. If they ask you a question, you go straight to the point and answer that question. You are I ask you a simple question. Who oh, are you going to stay with in the world? You begin that way. Good afternoon, your name and where you are coming from. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Amy. I'm coming from Canada. I don't know if you can hear me now. Very little. You know, you United States, America, people. Please, can you speak up so I can hear your sound, please?
they hear her. Okay, they say they cannot hear you. So, you know, you guys cannot, you hardly speak, it's hardly talk loud because you don't want to disturb the neighbors. Go ahead, it's only Nigeria that will shout here because of uh, <laughs> Motohon and Okada. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's boring. Now you go ahead. Again, bring something left to the word of encouragement will just uh, come in. Okay, the call line is 090 uh, 3024. Uh, meanwhile, please, well, we want just like we want to say, if you are calling in now, please call in for the support of uh, Victoria. Uh, uh, sorry, what am I saying, Victoria? Victoria, now, yeah, it's Victoria. Whom are you going to stay with in the village? Tell me one statement, direct, without my grandmother, my sister, one one day in Nakalaba, another one day this year. Who do you intend to go and stay with? And how much should it take you to that? So please, if you are calling and let it be that we want you to support her going or where to stay. That is what we should be talking about. Except you have an apartment that you want her to stay here. Your name and where you are calling from. Sorry, I barely hear you. Go ahead. Okay, it's my daddy's sister's daughter. But you have a number. I don't have a number. It's because that's the only place that I know that I can go and stay. That is where you grew up. You know. That's and that was what you said here, same day. You said your daddy gave her, gave you to her. No, I don't know what I said. What did you say? I said that. My daddy based in Calabar. Who did you grow with? That is the woman in Calabar that I'm telling you about. It's the woman in Calabar that So what happened to that one? Why are you not going back there again? That is what I'm saying. I'm supposed to have gone back there. These are super called the, the woman that. that is not responsible for the pregnancy. The woman said, I can't... Your name and where you are calling from? Hello? Sorry, we can't hear you. You either check the volume of your whatever you're calling from. We cannot hear you. Hello? 
Madam, check what you are calling from. Everybody that is calling, keep hearing. It's only this your life. So check the volume of your phone, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I said, uh, the one that you called the woman, he said uh, that he wants so the, to... You, don't, you cannot go back to that one again. Is that what you are she saying? she said that she is suffering with her children. Hello? For her to take your name with her children. Absolutely. Yeah, my name is Anthony. Okay, sir. Go ahead. Are you calling yes. to support her? Yes, I'm calling to support her. Okay, please go straight to the point so that we can summarize and attend to others. Sorry? Your name and where you are calling from, please. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Sorry? Can you speak up, sir? We can't hear you. If we are hearing you, we cannot tell we can't hear you. And it's not from here, it's from wherever you are calling from. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sir, please. Where can I pay? Where can I pay? The, month, the account number is pinned down there. If you look down on the screen where you are watching us from, the account number is pinned there. Access Bank 0105. 0105 Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. God bless. I want to go back to my auntie because she's the one that is really related to me. And I know she will take care of me and take care of the baby. That's okay. it. Do you have her contact now? Where is the address? She's an old woman. She doesn't, I don't know if she has a phone now, but then she doesn't have a phone. She doesn't have a phone. She doesn't have a phone. If I, I don't know about now, then that I I was tracing it, my father has people and I got to know that she did not have a phone. You don't. Thank you very much. You we'll, we'll see your your 30,000 naira. As a, I believe as that a lucky Simon, if you are if it's the done, if that is the name you send it with. It's a ten thousand, twenty thousand for you and ten thousand for our office recharge that. God bless you. We are asking, them, are you sure they were set in the village? If they don't accept her in the village, the issue now is this. We, we could have kept her in our, uh, what is it called, staff house. But one, the, the vacated in place, we are also searching for a new apartment now to pay for staff. Even one of the staff, one of the lawyer, went to check uh, uh, yesterday and today where we were supposed to make permits. But the place the gift we see was very high. We could not afford where the, the place they show one of our lawyer who is also supposed to be putting up there as a staff, where staff should be staying. We would have kept, I mean, provide an accommodation there to check on her pending when she put to bed and all that because of hospital and everything. We extend that to the village now. We don't know where she's going to continue from there if there is no proper communication. That is another challenge. If the place that they put in place would have put her there. But the issue, we've not gotten 
a befitting place, and the befitting place we seen that they went to expect yesterday who could not also afford their not. Your name and where you are calling from? Yeah. How much, sir? 10,000. Yes, sir. We'll get it. God bless you, sir. How much will take you to the village? Huh? Talk loud now, madam. I don't know the transport now from Lagos to New York. Except I will find out. You're supposed to have asked, huh? your name and where you are calling from. Hello, good evening, please. Sorry, can't hear you. I can hear you now. Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay. Would you like to go to Bini? I just asked her now. I just asked her now if she's willing to go to Benin, but she said no. Yeah. Yes, Thank you very much. I don't know if you want to get the way to do this. This is what you can let her know that. I tell you to speak to the baby. Okay. Thank you. It's two options because you can't do otherwise. Either he said, how much to rent the room? You can get a room between uh, 100 to 150, right? You can get a room 100 to 150, depends on the area. So, except, can you stay alone in Lagos? You can, you can get a room 100 to 150 in Lagos here, depends on the area. So, give and take with agents and all that, at least you will get like a one to a 150, 170, at most, with agency and commission. So, if you guys want to support her so that we can watch over her where she stays in Lagos, then fine. The room in Mabodo is about 500. <laughs> Nandi, I beg. We use God beg. You know, can't spoil this room. Who they look for? Who are talking about where to keep somebody head? You are talking of a room of 500,000. Your name and where you are calling from, please. Please speak up, speak up, speak up, speak up. Please, let's rent a roof for her at least. Let's rent a roof for her. Maybe in that place, if she stays alone around the place, she, even if she's, if she can eat, at least she will have strength to do work or even do do another herself again or any other thing around the place. She's not, she's not old. She's young enough to be strong to even do some other work. Your name and where you are calling from, please. Your name is Onyekachi. Okay. Right. Okay, sir. Let's try 
So that they can hear you. Help us speak up so that you can hear you. Okay, let me interpret because even me that is sitting down, I cannot hear you properly. He said, okay. according to Mr. Onyekachi from Indonesia, he said, let everybody join hands to help this girl here. That sending her to the village will not be proper. One, she's an offer. Secondly, where she's going, you don't even know the situation of those people. And know that she's working, that she can put to bed there uh, uh, freely. Nobody knows her uh, medical condition now, that she has not even gone for Atlanta for once. That whatever anybody can contribute, we should all join hand and help her. Even if it's a room, let's rent a room for her here. Did I pass your message, sir? Okay. okay, sir. Uh, the WhatsApp number is zero eight zero three three zero two four five five zero. Thank you. Wherever she is, they will be checking on her. Every day, so I should check my phone. Oh, who they call me on this line? You are sending money. No, you say you call me to distract me here. Hello? Eh? <laughs> Yeah, your name and where you are calling from. I wanted to show her Your name is where is you? Ah, but I follow Shadi. How are you, man? I am sure of the house rate already. Go ahead. Thank you very much. It's not for my speaker. What of other people that were hearing their voice? Hello. Your name and where you're calling from? Yeah. Hello. Okay. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The position is ready. Which department, sir? Okay, sir. I'll be there tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Benjamin. Ben Benjamin. Okay, sir. <coughs> it's all right. Thank you. I'm taking uh, Hopefully, before 10, I should be there. Yeah. Hopefully, before 10, I should be there. I go great. Okay. Thank you. Hello? 
Okay. Yes, yes. Though this line is not where, where you should call. I thought you send money and we're not picking your calling this place. So just go straight to the point, please. Okay, if you send the money, please send the alert to this line you are calling. I mean, the payment slip. Thank you, God bless you. Your name, please. Your name? Miriam. Okay, God bless you. Miriam said he's sending you 30,000. We go for uh, 699. And the 699. Oh. For now, I'm talking to you. Uh, you. Normally, Normally, you are supposed to be on your own. You are supposed to be arrested on this office because you, for your mom to encourage, just look at the whole scenario. You people went to church for house fellowship to see this person. If your mother is a Christian, a true Christian, a true child of God, that fear God, that is why. Somebody just called that they won't have all her children. They are just junkies. They are just wayward. There is life that you sow. There is a seed you sow in life. When you are reaping it, you don't have anybody to be blamed except yourself. This girl is an offer. She, you people took her to uh, Heart Fellowship. Heart Fellowship now laid that to this condition because she, she, she was desperate. Desperate of where to hide her head. Desperate of what her to feed. Answer this for people who are supporting. Desperate of how to feed. Desperate of how to live her life. You guys took advantage of her. The place where you people are is not even convenient for you, your mother, as an adult, your mate, you are still sleeping in the place where your mother is sleeping. Isn't that a shame? They are backing you. You are not backing somebody else. Are you not supposed to have a room of yourself? And your mother encourage you to be sleeping. We have a kind of knowledge of this girl because she needed the child or she wants to please you. There is a law of karma. Do you understand me? You really, really took advantage of her. And let me tell you, until we confirm that the child does not belong to you, if we confirm this child does not belong to you, this office will know what to do as far whatever she will show us who is the father of the child and whatever you spend you will be, you be reported back but as it stand, you are the father of this child for now because we are having an affair with her and she was living with you so you can't throw her to the street and throw your responsibility to anybody You undertook at that, uh, uh, what is it called? Say, you undertook at the, at the, um, at the, uh, what is it called? Where did you, where did you refer to her? What time did you start there? Yes. You, you undertook that to be giving her 5,000. 5, How many 5,000 have you given to her? I undertook the agreement. You know, I make mention of. She left 
for one month. That question. Before she left for one month, did you give her it money? Was when she left for that one month, that was when she went to MP. Before when we, we have already agreed, and I said, okay, let me go and look for her. I, I did. I'm not, I'm not going to chase her. I can call the man. The man said, said I should place her at the place of court so that you talk to him. So yeah. that, that the military police are handling this guy, handling this guy, handling the case. Mm. said, I should call you, she will, he will talk to you. That what? No, about this case. I did not chase the two right away from the house. God bear me with you. You are not feeding her. Do you don't want her to die in your house. Ma, ma, I swear to my living God, if I'm lying, let this afternoon punish me. I'm not lying. I provide for this girl. God bear me. Provide 300 naira for 300 naira. I give her money to cook. Sometimes 550 naira. Not 550 naira. How much Ma, have you given some, to if, she, if she wants to cook her fang soup, there was a day I gave her 2,500 naira to cook her fang soup. That is, said she, that is what she's feel like eating. Sometimes she wants to eat opera, like because her favorite soup is, she has never cooked a goosey soup for me. He said her favorite soup is opera. I mean, I don't like opera much. Opera, my mother said, you only for you, like no, your wife. No, like what I meant is like, like our favorite soup is opera. I'll give her money. Ma, I'll eat only once. I'll leave the rest. We'll let that one be okay. I'll give her money if I'm... You if gave I'm, me 1,000 to cook soup. And five fifty. Now that I'm praying, you give me five hundred and fifty naira or something. You give me three hundred naira. Sugar. Ma, I don't give her five hundred naira. You give me five fifty. I only no. come back and say, babe, arrange indomie. She, I'll give her that money to eat. That you just eat that indomie at early in the night. The following day, I'll give her money for food. I've never starved this girl. I'll, I'll never start. I'll, I'll never. Boss, I'll eat this spaghetti. Instead, I should put it that is your sweet. I'll she never. I'll never in stop. In the morning, that's the small one I'll eat before you come back in the night. And I'll stay on with you night. I'll and that morning, that they say she's paying MP. They said I should, where, wherever I'm staying with, I should stay there. Then you should be coming to pay the money in the office. Then wherever I'm staying, I'll come from the place I'm staying. And okay, must you, must you, must she stay there for you to give her money? No. They said. When he said I was missing, I was staying with a woman in MRS, and that is the place he came and with, with a woman, not a man. He has never seen me with a man. And it's from there that they said you should pay five thousand. I should be coming to pick the five thousand in um, in the office and take care of myself since staying with him. He wants to kill me or him with the trade to me. And he has never paid the money. I don't know what they did there. He has not even paid the one. No, and we, so what do you say the man should want to tell me? No. When I went to the office, the man was saying uh, chairman, oh, chairman, okay. paying his. So I was like, sir, this man, man the man said so. That is why this man the said man I should said, not report to the brigade commander that all of them they will not they will not have anything to say that they are all lying there. He has never paid the money and they didn't question Ma, it. What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? And I shall, where is your shop? I have shopping. I used to work. Anybody that called me, I work. Do out. you have shop or you are just. In each year before, I have shop. Why I closed the shop was because there was no body. Do you have shop? For now, no. For now, no. I have shop. Yes. Victoria, anyhow, will blame this man. You also have your own blame. Man. You understand me? You say you that went there and saw that the place they are staying is not good. That woman did not force you against this man. Do you understand me? You were not raped. You willingly give yourself up for this guy to have sex with you. Upon that, you are seeing that the place where they are is not comfortable. You saw how many people that were there. Even you stated yesterday that immediately you saw that place, you said, Why? You cannot stay this land. The mother and I encourage you. Who is in the kitchen? Start off from life. Are you supposed to do? You are already earning money. Eh? When I saw the you place, put I yourself went... into all this kind of mess. But they see my back. When I saw the place, I went back to Yenafa, the way I was staying. It was the mom that called the man and said, eh, that gave me hear what he's saying about you. That gave me this one. Before you know it, the man now said I should go. The man was angry. So coming now, I don't have any way to stay. What is than to come back to against your house. mom. It's actually what your mom did. You, you people suffering is just that. I have weakness. 
I'm just telling you, if that's what your mom actually do to this girl, you know, you know, my son is just anything I want to do. We never maltreated this girl. My sister even promised, they promised to, if she, okay, since she's pregnant, they are going to back me up. That's what they said. Consistent, I want to go. This man will tear my back. I would like to tear your back. I've never told you that. If your back there, you have carried the back. My back is still there. If I go to the back, she's not going to start to bring her back. Ma, she was the one that left. Where is your sister? Call your sister to bring her back, or you give them transport to go and bring her back. She was the one that bring her Call your sister to bring her back. Now you still give somebody our staff money, they'll go there, go and bring her back. Even last time, before I left there, she carry one of my pants and put up. I don't even know what he wants to do with the pants. It's only when I was um, and the back fell down because the back is on top. You normally keep that back on top. The back now fell down. When I opened the back, my one of my pants was there. And I asked him that what, what is this pants doing here? He said that he saw the pants on the floor. But you later find it. I later find it and I took my, my pants. You talk too much. You get your own wahala. You they allow you now, you talk for money tonight like parrots. You wise and intelligent for talking and speaking English, but you are not wise when it comes to sex and covering your leg. They are talking as if person rape you or you are underage. Mary Agochuku, thank you very much. God bless you. Where is that for barista? Let's check uh, people there. Okay, we have not seen it today. We are waiting for it to come. How far are you supposed to protect yourself jealously, even though you know you don't have mother? Don't like, don't want anybody to take advantage of you. Even people will pity you when you, you are suffering and even when with all this nonsense statement and do this, you do that. You go one more to come back, you disappear again, you come back, you go and stay another place again, you come back. When are you bringing the money that you actually write them? Because we would have write more than that, but we cannot increase more than that because you don't even have a steady job. Yes, yes, yes. Except you want to fulfill this pregnancy, whether it belongs to you or not. Me, I wasn't, I wasn't chasing her. I've never. For which she cannot come. Don't call her, but you're not married to her. You wasn't ch you are chasing her. You are calling her to come and sleep with this kitchen so that you will be raping her, be sleeping her again. If you want to marry, if you have, if you are, you want to sleep with him or, or sex, you hungry you. Go and marry. They are not chasing her. You are not chasing her. They are asking you, when will you be giving her? Bring the money they ask you to give. You say you are not chasing her. You want her back there. Your mother that is ranting a dog, then you want this girl to go back there so that she will poison her, she will die with pregnancy. Don't even talk that one here. Answer me, don't waste my time. Uh, I might start giving money from the uh, every the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah Giving what every you are giving her the five thousand every month, or is the five thousand that you want to be giving every two weeks? Every month. The first payment, what time on Monday? I'm bringing a You say three thousand. I can't hear you. Three thousand. 
How? Do you know how much they buy drugs? Do you know how much is Atlanta? Have you registered in Atlanta? How much are you giving her today before you talk about money? Because you can't come here and say you are going. And the one you've written there is not even done any one. Have you given her the 5,000 you wrote in that police station for one? Uh -huh. Magic. I speak the English pass a black tweet. Are you carrying yourself good in the first way? You see what doing? You can't afford the whatever. This will show you their finger from the beginning you went there. You see what I'm falling at like uh, this very no position again. Everybody else in there cannot blame me. That person will waste time because I must blame you. I don't blame me. I don't even know whether with this pregnancy you go again and be sleeping with another person with a sweet mouth. So they need to blame you so that you carry you 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 gather yourself. You made mistake, you will not continue in mistake. So I need to blame you very well. Victoria, we are going to have these babies successfully. Eh? And I want to bring you back again in this office to use you as an example for other girls in a positive way. That you have made mistakes, your hope has not lost. Do you understand me? You know what's going to become in future, right? Child cannot stop you if you are determined. You are already four months. In five months time, you give birth, right? And before you give birth, we should want to tell. That is why I said you must not fold your hand waiting for man to give you. All you need now is to eat food, go for medical checkup, be strong, then look for what you can do for strength. You also need strength to have this baby successfully. You need exercise to have this baby successfully. So whatever you can do to be any money, gradually, gradually, you do that, okay? There's the way you save money. Even your child is growing, you put the child in French. You do this one, you do that one. I know people that have a child, try, they are working as hard as people work, and at the end, they are, they, their children, is, the child is going to school, and they start furthering their education, and they become what they want in life. Nancy, what did you say? Nancy Faith, please, can you chat me on 08033024550 or, or call us on our line on 09032484. You say 10 euros every month. 10 euros is not 5,000. Or are you are you are you saying you want to support that 10 euros every month? Or you are calculating this guy 5,000. 5,000 is not 10 euros. 10 euros is 5,000 euros far below uh, 10 euros. 10 euros is bit much bigger. Yeah. Married women still work with them. So that you are pregnant doesn't mean you should not work. You are pregnant doesn't mean you should not uh, do anything. You are look for something and do as well to support yourself. You are not fine. You have sense. They don't want to accept me because of the pregnancy. But I do go far more. Even when I'm, I was there, I go far for people. And then don't go far. Because they yeah. don't want to accept me in short. They say, so I'm not coming and call that. And I'm still too strong to work. But they don't want to accept me. That's the problem. No problem. 
even will not leave you. If they find a place and keep you now, we will still bring you for people to help you. You will learn something, and from that thing, even if you are learning something at the end of the day, they can establish you to be sending small, small things. Hmm? The way you look so pregnant, your foremost pregnant is not even showing. It's just because you are not feeling well. That's why your eye is looking as if you are. You are putting it to bed right now or you are fainting in the moment. Some people can be pregnant even seven months. You will never know their pain because they are of the way they are agile and strong and all that. Hmm? Your, your mouth is like no, it's not like your body now. You talk really, 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 you are reading the English very well. You come to strength now. You will defend the further and the water. All right. Did anybody call for the support? No? Okay. So far, so good. Let's do the. Yeah. <laughs> it should be about 40,000. Yeah, of course, we bought her food yesterday before she before I even stream her. I sent her to go and buy her food before she fainted in my office. Then then also, before she leave, I also give her money. Yeah. She wants to. She wants to reject me, and because I need a mother's kid, someone that will mm -hmm. take care of me when when I get me to this child. Yeah. Because she's already uh, passed through that stage, and she has grandchildren. So even now she's looking for me because. How do you know all that? You I said you know, don't have a number. Yes, I how know. How do you know all that? I knew that I am the one that traced her because. How do you trace that way? I'm the one that traced her. I was like, I don't ask anybody. I need to know that, okay, there's somebody from my father's side because they were like, every, every When one. did you trace her? That, um, I, um, I traced her to the village. In Bioporo, she's living in Bioporo. You never see your 30,000, though, my sister. Why? So that's why I traced her and knew her. So um, when I saw her, she, like, is uh, it that you don't know anybody's address? Any, anybody's phone number to reach her? No, when I get the Because reports, you want to talk to her. Yes, when I get the You want to talk to her and know where she's living. Yes, me too. I would like to be talking to the office. When I get the that I, uh, I said to the man that called you, uh, maybe if she has phone or before I leave, I will do anything so that I can buy a SIM. Then I already have a small phone. So I will let you talk to her from time to time. Can be reaching me anytime that you want to reach me because at that day she didn't have phone, but I know the uh, my way to that place where she stayed because the company is at home. Because I, if I stay, you know, nobody to check on me by phone, nobody to take care of me and give me that. Then, uh, Eco Virginia, the so president, how can we help this lady? I'm already I'm ready to give something to you. Then. Yes, Daniel, the account number is 0105734306. I will pin it again. We are hoping for you people to help her. But you don't know how much is your transport here. It will be 14,000, but I'm not, um, I can't say anything, but I'm not just uh, specific. 0105. And if you want to, if you want that, after I give it to this child, I'll bring the child for the NIN phase. I'm hundred percent ready because it's the one. I'm very ready. I'll bring the child if I give it to the child. And after I bring maybe the man can take care of the child for me. Then I can start my life. I want to go to school and also I'm going to school. 
we will still bring you from here to come and suggest that space. Because are based on our experience, so many people have entered here with Wahala and come back again with Wahala with us. So before that, there are some, we have to, uh, we have to make some of inquiry on that place so that we also know where it is. Yes, if I get there, talk to you. If any of you is saying this guy should stay in Lagos, provide where she's going to stay. Okay? You either provide that where she's going to stay, it's three options. Provide that where she's going to stay, one. Support us, let us uh, complete the money for, uh, what is it called? Staff house is a flat then she'll get apartment from there then we'll watch her time to time on our own three rent an apartment for her to stay in lagos so whichever one you are suggesting if you come up tell us exactly what we need to do we are depending on you your support But if she's saying she's going to Lagos, we don't know, according to this man now, we don't know if she has somebody else that impregnated her and she wants to come here to raise money and go and meet this person. You know, we have had so many experience from people and we'll, every day we'll keep learning. Okay, whom you are going to stay with, let's have the person number. You say you don't have the person telephone number, the person don't have phone, except you go Place. So please, all of you, 70% of you keep saying, let us stay in Lagos. You cannot ask her to stay in Lagos when you can provide apartment for her. We cannot ask her to go to this man's house. Chinelo, do you have us in Lagos? My house is my private house. So if you want to donate money for staffers, donate so that we rent staffers for them to be staying, not my house. Chica, how much have you sent for her to stay in Lagos? We are not saying she should not stay in Lagos. So please let your suggestion be meaningful. And if whatever you are doing, just like a lady offer Benin for her to go and stay. If she's in Benin, okay, we will know the, where the person stays. We will not send our member in the country where this person stays, Spain or anywhere, please, member, visit this person, know where this woman is staying in Germany or in Spain or in Italy or anywhere uh, that is sending this girl to her parents. Then we we'll send our member from Benin to go and check uh, where their house is in Benin, right? That's how to do things. She was staying with this man. <laughs> so we are going like we are going off like if we don't hear anything from you as regard to that. Meanwhile, let me announce the name of people that sent that money yesterday. Out of ten thousand, uh, over twenty thousand in the Uber is ten thousand, Bridget twenty thousand. Nemeka 10,000, Akim, Akim Busayo 20,000, Magdali 20,000, Ol, Oladisi 15,400, Joseph Medi uh, 5,000, uh, Fusho Dane 50,000, Akim Shola 50,000. Then today we have uh, this, that is between today and yesterday. Uh, sorry, somebody also sent 3,000 naira. That is uh, Obiageri sent her 50,000 uh, 3, naira. Today we have uh, the law, 20,000. Victoria. Again. 
independent ikke to go ten thousand. Only catch ten thousand. The case you read is how much is the best thing? The case you read is how much is the best thing? Grace Allah. $10,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. $
if you did not support this child, okay? If we put up an undertaking here, he did not support. That doesn't mean we're not going to arrest him. But the child, they will never see that child for a while. Do you hear me? Do you hear what I'm saying? We did not marry her. If you refuse to support this child or keep wherever she's staying, whether in Lagos or anywhere, she born this child, you refuse to support her now that she's pregnant, you refuse to send her money even until she put, you refuse to take this child up there. Don't go and look for this child because you don't even know where this woman comes from. Do you know where she comes from? Eh? Do you know where you come from? Uh -huh. So this is your running to the village just so you have your reason behind it. I told you how I'm coming from the reality one day. I told you how I'm coming from Yes, you are. I thought you want to say it's free. I feel like say it's cheap. Somebody say it's going to be in You're talking of come and register. If you want to, if you want to come, you if it's in his and we to support him. Is it that after I give back to this child, okay, with the support of the five thousand that is going to be afterwards? I mean, yeah, I mean, if you supporting me with this five thousand every month, mm -hmm. that if I give to it, is he taking the child because? Um, as he denied me, I don't have a problem with that, but I don't think he can take this child. I want the child first. The child said never even wish you to be born. Leave that child where this child is. Child is four months. You never even born, you never even pass through labor. Bring the child out. You are talking whether you want to take the child or not take the child. Born the child first. You are in a different journey. So you keep keep off problems from your condition. Put the child down first. Let the child see the words that you want to talk of whatever. Eh? Eh? You understand me? So let's not bring that uh, topic for now. And you don't expect this office to come to uh, 270,000 and give to you to be going to the village. I hope you know that. Whatever contribution yes. from this office, we will still manage it alongside with you. So you people that always shout and shout, hear me very well. I'm saying it on social media now. Don't expect us that we are going to cancel or do something and give to her to face her village and be going home. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let this get brings on the taking. You say what? Who is this? Hello? Absolutely, you said what? That what? She's not staying in Lagos, so how would you would she insure, do insurance now? That? Okay, so it's agreed now that she's going to apply. Yes, we're going to apply, so it's going to be a monthly allowance that will be give, sending to you.
you write it, you'll be bringing 20, uh, what is it called? 5,000 naira to this office every month. End. How much are you giving to her today? I don't, I don't prepare for. Okay, you give them your phone. When you go and bring whatever, then you come and carry your phone. Do not prepare, nothing you prepare. You only prepare with your penis, the pregnant women up and down, they are bought. Do not prepare what? You give them because you need to go and eat. Give her a phone, let her go and like, give the phone to whoever that will give her money, she will buy it. Then when you prepare, come back, come and collect that phone. You don't know that all this nonsense you are doing up and that can block way for you. If you are an electrician and, and you, you are in Lagos, you know your job, why, why would it be lack, lacking the uh, uh, work? If not out of wickedness. Can you do what? Thank you. You say? Can I thank the people Yes, now go ahead. Thank them and pray for them. Both those that are looking for children, both that uh you won't need them. I will not say make a no need them as your spirit direct. Go ahead. Yeah. Why are you crying again? I just want to pray for them. I want to thank um, the woman that is sitting in front of me for um, at least hearing me out because I've okay. never had voice to speak. I know one has ever listened to me to fight for me, but for her fighting for me, listening to me and helping me up to this point, because at the point that I came to this office, I was ready to kill myself. He is a witness. He has done something to me. He said yes, wash his eyes of me. I stopped myself. I wanted to die because there was no hope for me. But you people have hungry. given me a new you hope. I thought I spoke with you. You have given That's me right. life. Right. You have made you have okay. given this child life. You have given this child hope. You have been my parents. You have helped me. I said the Almighty God bless you. Amen. May this great child that is in my womb may he make a way for you. Amen. And as for those that you don't have a child, you are seeking for a fruit of womb. May the Almighty God bless you with fruit of womb in the name of Jesus. As you have given me the one that gave me the little. I said that may God give you plenty and abundance in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the God of the orphans speak for you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Stop crying. Hmm? The street is on watch, okay? Stop crying. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you will not travel under pressure or under tension, okay? No, calm down first. Calm down, calm down. All oh, that one is okay? No, Any, no, 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 no,
is this thing? What is happening? Have you, where is this? Uh, they should buy drink for water from here. Yeah, water behind this is not for They should drink more cold water from that supermarket. Bring cold water from supermarkets. Uh, please, I still want to appeal to you people. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to take her for Atlanta. First thing tomorrow morning, because this the stage of her pregnancy is very, very delicate. We can't, all this cry she has been crying is affecting her chest, affecting her heart, her body, and everything, temperature. So please, tomorrow, we we'll have to quickly uh, take her to go and register. Give her. Atlanta to to ensure her condition is safe first. Then please you you just hear that money. That money is nothing as far as I'm concerned. I remember how much some of you contributed for the two sources. As we are talking to you, our money is almost eighty something thousand naira running on that little child. If you think of the account number, let me still place it for both of any of you that uh, hold this in place. So please, you know what an orphan me. You hear her prayer. Please, don't bring this kind of whatever you want to tell this girl. I use God Almighty beg you. She don't have number. If you want to call her, call her here. For some of you, that is how you will take number now. You begin to uh, uh, cause problem here and there behind the scene. If you have anything to call this girl, call her here. Make any of now go provide this child this girl to go and say her child do. I use God beg you. Why do you need her number? 
communicate with her dear, via this office. This Victoria has become our child. Don't send any of such comments here. What do you need a number for? You want to, she's sitting here. Already you had her already. You want to help her, call us. We'll bring Victoria here. If you want, for those that sent money, those are their names who announced today. That is the amount they, they, they contributed to her. Even so, people didn't, they were not even watching that, uh, what is it called? What, they, they did not watch it live when we stream it. But they later watched it and they were touched and they, they were sending money to her. You want to have a number. Tomorrow night you start chatting. Victoria, how are you? Umara, I give you one naira. Have they given you all the money? Haven't they give you? Did they give you baby clothes? Did they give you pants? And some of you will tell her, come and sell your child so that you go to abroad. Don't call her. She don't have number. Victoria, anybody that wants to communicate with you should talk to you via this office. At least now we are your mother and your father. Don't feel free. You will not lack anything until you put, you put to bed with this child, okay? Yes. Not talking specifically for you that is requesting the number. I'm talking based on my, on my experience. Give me that for please. I'm only favorites. You do not say favorite. We have not seen, I believe you are sending zero one zero five seven three four three zero six seven one. We have not seen the thirty thousand uh, this lady said, and we have not seen the fifty thousand uh, somebody just said now. She's sitting, you can see her. If you have clothes, if you have clothes, send her money. She can buy clothes, she can buy baby, started buying baby teeth now. The baby must not listen. After Antoneta will tell you the sex of the child. Buy any clothes you want to buy if his boy, if his girl, will tell you. Please buy it and bring. Cover her with the with the prayer of God. Let her, I mean, put to bed successfully. Amen. I've announced all those words. I've announced it. I've not seen any of money yet. We're still waiting for the alerts to be come to our city to announce it. If you send money, please, what you do. Screenshot, send your slip to 08033024550. Those of you that have been helping to donate to other, please, this is this innocent child need to. Not when somebody will just come from nowhere, cry, don't have work, you don't donate. This situation now, this child need you. Thank you. 
if you want to call after we go off the camera the live stream if you want to call for our support you can call zero if if you make if you make any payment her name is favor just uh victoria joseph right just like you say whatever amount you send to her send it and say for victoria joseph for victoria if your space cannot carry just write for victoria send a slip to zero eight zero three three zero two four five five zero cynthia olomole and if you want to call now for money you can still call the line We'll release our paper this day for you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Go for me. The number to call is 080 That is if you make any contribution, as in you send any money in support of Victoria and you want to send the slip there, please, you can call that line and send the slip to that line. Please, God bless you. Let's set her out. Let's draw her close. Let's show her the motherly and fatherly love she lacked and she did not have. Let's remember she's carrying. A, a nation in her womb. Please, let's support her. Her paper. It's all right. We'll do that tomorrow. Let me see your undertaking. They're so happening, but okay. What do I have to? We tell a sign where there's a complainer. Where there's complainer to? Yeah. Hmm. Miriam, we are going to send you. We just you want to send, we'll send you a, maybe other possible account. They will respond to you, post a message much later. Thank you. The account number is pinned there. Look at it, spin. You check the screen, it's pinned there. All right. I appreciate every one of you that listen to the cry of this young girl. May God have mercy on her and forgive her anywhere she has sinned against God and humanity in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you. May the heaven answer to your cry. May God remember you at the time of your need. May you not even have need before God reach out unto you. May whatever you are looking for in this world meet you before you discover it. You will never struggle to make it. You will not struggle to accept. 
you will not die. You will live to eat the benefit of your labor, the fruit of your labor. For those of you that are aged and you are still looking, supporting this young girl, God will add extra grace to your years. Those of you that are seeking face of God for the fruit of the womb, God will pass through this means to reach out to your demand. Those of you that are asking the face and the favor of God in your businesses, May the Almighty God supply them to you. Whatever is your needs, may the Lord visit you. May the Lord respond to you fast. May the Lord rush to answer you. May you never lack the mercy and grace of God. May the favor of God locate you in the midst of thousands and millions of people. May you be selected among others in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. May her prayer reach out to you too. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you. I bless all of you. And I thank you very much, every one of you. 884 people share this. God Almighty will announce you to your word. Because you are sharing these cases for people like this young lady to learn from her mistake, not to fall victim of such, God will announce you to your word for good. And so shall it be. Thank you for sharing it. And I believe if you share it and these 888 people also share it to other people there is no how our young girls our young boys will not learn from other people's mistake please and i thank you for your wonderful comments because bad comments are not much today so even if she go back and read through your comments she will not have hypertension because of your comments right and others that will read your comment they will not also run away from coming out to cry out for justice when they read your comment because your comment at times can turn down people and even people hide their feelings hide their problem because of what with what would the world say please thank you very much we love you all we love you with the love of christ god bless you thank you keep sharing if you draw keep sharing okay